Hi guys, my name is Susie and I'm a speech coach and today I am going to show you how to write a really, really awesome wedding speech. Just like all good Blue Peter how to do it videos, you are going to need a couple of things before we begin. First up, you are going to need at least one beer. Why do you need the beer? Because as we all know, beer makes us slightly funnier. Don't ask me why, I'm not a scientist, I'm a speech coach. Then you're going to look for some writing materials, so I recommend you get hold of a book of jokes. Any book of jokes will do. I've managed to find the Playboy book of party jokes from 1966. Hopefully you'll be able to come up with something a little bit more modern. The other thing that's going to be a good reference for you is the Debrett's Guide to Weddings. This is the 97 version. It is, in my opinion, the best. If you can't get hold of either of those things, please don't worry. All you need is access to the internet. Couple more things before we get going. You are, of course, gonna need loads of pens, loads of paper, and if you can find them, these little index cards here that you used to do your revision notes on. So, you go and go and get those things. I will get started on the beer. I will see you back here, and we will begin writing a seven to eight minute long best man speech for a UK wedding. See you in a bit. Okay, step one, open your beer. Step two, start drinking your beer. Step three, do not panic. Unless this is the morning of the wedding, in which case maybe you should panic, you're fine. So next thing you wanna do is this. Get some pens, get some paper, look at everything. Think of every story you have on the groom. The small stuff, the big stuff, the medium stuff. How did you meet him? When you met him, did you like him? Did you not like him? School stories, high school stories, uni stories. If for whatever reason you don't have access to any of those stories, it is time to call in the Calvary. Call up the ushers, get them in, get them a beer, sit round, work out what stories you have. Write those stories down in no particular order on that piece of paper. I'm gonna to demonstrate to you what I mean now. So I've made up some stories that a fictional best man, let's call him William, might have on a fictional groom, let's call him Harry. You're gonna look through those and you're gonna realize immediately some of them are just not wedding material. Take those off. Some of them though are actually looking quite good. Keep those and now put them in order. The mildest one goes first and the wildest one goes last. We're looking for two to three. Important to note, two to three is fine and I would rather have two really great stories than three average ones, so you decide. The timing at this stage isn't too important but they should be roughly one to two minutes long. Something it's really worth remembering. Any good speech writer worth their salt will tell you, you never, ever, ever let the truth get in the way of a good story. So now is the time for exaggeration, little bending of the facts. We are not looking for something that is completely detailed and technically accurate because I have seen that happen and it is the sure fire way to kill the joke dead. So choose your stories, two to three, work out how to just spruce them up a bit, extend them, exaggerate, and then once you've got them, you are going to go on to the next stage. Again, get a fresh piece of paper, get out some pens, and I want you to consider the following. What do you genuinely admire about the groom? What are his good qualities? For the fictional groom we've chosen, we can say he's loyal, courageous, fun, and kind. Now think about the stuff uh, you less admire about him. So again, we're gonna call him messy. We're gonna mention he's not got much hair. He's quite stubborn and he is an appalling golfer. So you have got loads of pieces of paper with lots of information on it. You've got two to three stories about the groom. You've got his good qualities. You've got his less good qualities. Congratulations, that's the majority of what you need done. Now I need you to think about how to structure this. And again, don't worry, here's one I made earlier. So your basic best man speech structure looks like this. 
If it feels embarrassingly easy, that's a really good thing. Now you've already got the stories, so all we're missing is the intro, the emotional bit, the conclusion, and the toast. And I'm gonna show you how to do those bits now. Okay, so let's write that introduction. It's the hardest part to write, but it's also the most important, so it needs to be good. All you're going to do is you're going to look at your list of less attractive qualities in your groom and you match it up to a joke. And you can either get that from your book of jokes or, and here's a real insider secret, you can buy one-liner jokes off the internet for not a lot of money, which is brilliant. So find the bad quality, match it to the joke, and then put it into the following formula. So it's going to sound a little bit like this. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who don't know me, my name is William and I'm the best man. And it's my job now to make a speech. So please sit back, relax, and the next three and a half hours should fly by. I'm here to talk about the beautiful actress, philanthropist, and model Megan, and my brother, Harry, the bloke who's got about three to four haircuts left in him. So congratulations, at this stage you've got the intro and you've got the stories. That is essentially the hardest part done. Some people tend to worry a little bit about how they're going to segue from the intro to the first story to the second story. Please don't worry about that. Segways can be as obvious as you want them to be. I promise you, I really do. No one has ever walked away from a wedding going, well, it was a brilliant day, but I do feel the segues that the best man used to get from one story to the next were a little bit clunky. It just doesn't happen. You can be as blunt as you like with this. For example, you can go from, but if you think that story showed off our groom's best qualities, wait till you hear what happened when we did, insert the next story here. It's that simple. The next stage you're gonna to wanna to move on to is perhaps another difficult bit to write. And if you've made it hopefully through a little bit more of your beer, you should be ready to get on to the emotional stage. So here's how it sounds. Go to your sheet of his good qualities. Pick out a couple. If he's kind, tell us why he's kind. If he's loyal, tell us why he's loyal. Now tell us about how wonderful the bride is. Say she's beautiful and close that all up by saying how brilliant they are as a couple. Guys, I can't write this bit for you. I literally never met the guy. You know him, I don't. Try harder. So you put it all together and you've got something a little bit like that. You've got the intro, you've got the stories, you've now got the emotional bit. So the final step that's missing is the easiest part, the toast at the end of the speech. So the good news is you've basically got everything you need. The bad news is I am out of beer, but that seems like it's pretty good timing. So you have just one last thing to do and it's the toast. Check your copy of Debrett's because it will give you all of the guides to who toasts to what, but ultimately your toast is pretty much the easiest of the bunch. You simply raise your glass and say, so ladies and gentlemen, I propose a toast to Megs and Harry, or Mr. and Mrs. So-and-so, or Lord and Lady, whoever. However the bride and groom want to do it, check with them how formal they are going. But ultimately, keep it simple. That's what people like. Once you've got your speech, transfer it to those index cards we talked about and put one, two, three bullet points down that side and three down the other side. After that, practice. Practice, practice, practice. Stand up, say it out loud. Remember, you are aiming for seven to eight minutes and it's gonna be a little bit longer because in real life, get this, they are going to laugh. Keep practicing or alternatively don't practice and I guarantee you on the morning of the wedding you will feel horrible. So start practicing as soon as you've got it down. Finally, I'm going to give you a few do's and don'ts that might be obvious, might not be obvious, but hopefully they will help you add the finishing touches. Do obviously flatter the bride and talk sincerely about how brilliant a person she is, but don't make that creepy. Do make jokes, obviously, stick those one-liners everywhere you think they work, but don't make in-jokes that no one else understands and don't mention ex-partners, whatever you do. Definitely have a couple of drinks because that makes you funnier, but do not get drunk and then do your speech because that will always go wrong. 
Okay, last few words for me, I promise, because you have got a speech to practice. Keep editing, keep changing, keep adding in the good stuff, keep running it past people who aren't attending the wedding and asking them for their opinion. There are a couple of jokes that, frankly, I never want to hear again just because I hear them basically at every wedding I have ever been to. Joke one, the honeymoon to Wales gag. It is essentially the joke you reach on the first page of Google if you type in best man jokes wedding. Try harder, don't be lazy. The other one is a good marriage is like a deck of cards. That has been going since the 1920s. There is a whole internet full of material you can reuse and recycle and keep on using. Find it, utilize it. Do not use the same fire jokes I hear every single time you stand up. Finally, I would like to say a big thank you to all four of you for watching this. I really hope you've enjoyed it and I really hope you found it useful and that you have written a cracking speech off the back of it. I am available for funerals, weddings, bar mitzvahs, birthdays, your next company conference and quite genuinely your next TED talk. So if you would really like my assistance, call me in. We will have some beers. I will help you write it. Guys, enjoy it. Good luck. It is going to be awesome.